Good morning. It's Monday, April 3rd, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Age of Offense, Part 3. And our scripture is Proverbs, Chapter 22. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. We're continuing with our series on parenting to change a culture falling apart. Parenting certainly is not a science, it's an art. Those who think they've somehow graduated to expert status are like the picture of an elegantly dressed woman who's holding a teacup. Her little finger is cocked ever so daintily to the side and her face reveals utter self-confidence. Unfortunately, she does not yet know that her slip has collapsed around her ankles. The caption reads, Confidence is what you have before you understand the situation. Solomon, the world's wisest man, gave us the Proverbs as our starting point. We must train our children. The next few days, we're going to camp on the process of training them up. The word train is a primary root word which means to narrow or throttle. The throttle controls engine speed. Now, that's a great metaphor for dealing with hyperactive children. Narrowing the focus of what a child learns flies in the face of today's fad that lets children grow up very quickly with little dialing back on the throttle. Training, however, is the art of bringing along a child in the art of being a person, and that takes work. And there are three D's to that kind of work. The first is discipline. Athletes train with varying degrees of discipline. Those who are highly motivated go to higher levels of proficiency. Those with low motivation hire a personal trainer. Now that describes a parent. You are the personal trainer to which God has entrusted the training of a child. At a church in Kansas, there is a set of baby footprints in the sidewalk. The feet are pointed in the direction of the front door of the church. The meaning is hard to miss here. Get them started early in the discipline of worship. The second D is demonstration. Railroad train cars follow the leader, and in such ways children are trained as well. Abraham Lincoln once said that for a man to train up a child in the way he should go, he must walk that way himself. Demonstration. Trainers have not only been there, they've not forgotten the way. Your child will copy what they see you do much more than doing what they hear. A Christian parent demonstrates and also checks the level of communication. And the third D is diligence. Training wheels on a bicycle are for guiding and giving assistance until the skill of the riding is learned. In the same way, parents must give attention to keeping their little ones afloat. That means the personal trainer of the little one at your house must diligently follow through. That's because children are notoriously distractible. If you tell them what to do and you don't supervise the process, the very first interesting bug crawling on the wall will take 100% of their attention. For you today, don't make the mistake of falling into the excuse-ridden parenting philosophy of the day where children are deemed attention deficit disorder and drugged beyond hope of attention and eventually discarded as unmanageable and irredeemable. If God saw fit to give you that child, he knew you were the one to bring him up. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.